Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of our Creation Legion series in Gravity Team Tactics Mew's Front. In the previous episodes, we have captured this area south of Odinsov and the village of Popov after some heavy fighting. Today's target will be the village of Odinsov itself. We have three battle groups at our disposal. The village is defended by three enemy battle groups that we know of. And there's also another battle group out here on our flank. During the previous battle, we took some heavy losses down here in the south. And I feel that such losses are not sustainable. The campaign, well, there's still a lot of ground to capture. So I feel that whatever we do today, we have to keep our losses light. At the same time, capturing this area here is vital. If we can do that, then this area will be linked up and any enemies that remain here in this sector or in this sector down here will be cut off from their own forces and their morale will suffer, they won't be able to resupply and it will be easy to deal with them. While we attack southwards towards Odinsov, we have to keep up a good flank protection here against this enemy battle group. Now, with that said, welcome to the battlefield. So let me show you what I've done here, what I've prepared already. We have our three battle groups. Now, the first battle group under the lead of Brankovic here, they will be pushing towards Odinsov along this road here. They have the platoon of Kirian here, yeah, and they have the platoon of Franic here on this side of the road. So they will be pushing mostly along the road towards Odinsov. I fully expect the enemies to be entrenched once again, so we will have to get them out of their trenches. Um, I will use a lot of artillery support for that. At least I'll try, because once again, uh, as with the assault on Popov, we once again have some gently sloping terrain here, as you can see. So our artillery spotters will have actually a quite hard time seeing anything or hitting anything, directing fire onto anything on the backside of this hill. So that will be a little challenge that we will hopefully be able to overcome. So, as I said, Brankovic's guys, they are going along here. Uh, notable about Brankovic's battle group is that he has with him an artillery platoon, 105mm howitzers, two of those in fact. Let's take a quick look. These nice little things here. Now, they can also fire indirectly. So I'll try to make as much use of them as I possibly can. If I can pull this off, that will be quite amazing. These two guns could really help me out here. So, the other battle groups, we have Fatkatic here. His battle group, they are mostly designated as flank protection. Uh, the battle group does contain a few scouting units. These awesome looking guys. I feel that they will be quite suitable for making sure that nothing gets through my flank unnoticed. And they have a few machine guns to back them up and mortars. Also, Stepanich's infantry platoon will cover this little approach here, because I feel that if the enemy really wants to be sneaky, they will send in units through this little um, line of vegetation. And I have units in place to um, receive them. Jansovic and his platoon, they are here. They will participate in the attack, they will push for this area. And just see what we find in there. Vucovic and his units. Actually, I still need to place Vucovic somewhere near his units. So let's do that. Forgot about him. Doesn't matter. So, his units 
I will try to push them through this little gully here towards the flank of Odinsov. We will try to make use of this vegetation down here and well, see if we can maybe keep out of uh, line of sight of the enemy until we get into a position down here from where we can assault Odinsov from the side. That's their plan. I'm not sure if we will be able to pull it off, but once again, scouts will lead the way. Uh, they have quite a lot of those in this platoon. So, these guys, by the way, um, if you want to know which mods I'm using, check the video description. These guys look so awesome because of Night Postman's skin mod. Very nice looking. Okay. So that's the basic setup for the battle. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, artillery. I did set up a lot of um, zero-in fire missions for our artillery spotter here. We have some off-map artillery, two 8cm mortars. In fact, it's not a lot, but well, it's something. They will zero in on these areas, so if I have to call in any fire missions close to these areas, the accuracy will be a little bit higher and the rounds on target will arrive faster. That's my hope here. With all of that said, I think it's time to get going. Enter deployment phase. And go to the initial orders. Actually, I don't think I want to give any specific initial orders. I think I want to wait until these um, fire missions here have completed. Until I can make as much use of my artillery as possible. And then we will start to push our men forwards. So, let's just start the game. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. The fog is lifting, which is good. It gives us visibility. I really should disperse my guys here a little bit more. On the other hand, oh, there was a spot there. They did spot something for a second. Trucks, enemy trucks. Interesting. That's very interesting. That's very interesting indeed. If they're enemy trucks, then they're enemy soldiers. So, what is this enemy battle group here? Do they have maybe artillery guns? Are those trucks meant for towing those? Are they just there to give the infantry some additional mobility? Or is it maybe a repair and resupply unit? That would be literally the best thing. And there comes our zero in fire mission. There's another truck. Okay, the enemy has at least two trucks out there. Three trucks. There's another one. Can I spot... Oh, okay, more trucks. Five trucks. It could be a resupply and repair unit. It could also be something much worse. Hard to tell at the moment. It's interesting though that these trucks are not dug in. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, you know what? Let's take these guys and send them here. Let's spread out a little bit. You guys, you stay where you are. Oh, whoa. whoa, 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 wait a moment. What's going on here? Who are you? Enemy trucks out in the field um, with infantry in them. Well, well, well. Don't mind if I start to shoot at you. Do these guns have line of sight? I fear they don't. Oh, well, maybe they do. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. The mortars are already shooting. And these guns are about to open up. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's starting to hurt. So we are able to inflict some early losses on the enemy. Let's have a look at this. Oh yes. They are certainly taking losses now. Absolutely amazing. Lucky coincidence for us. That will be a few dead Soviet soldiers. Early on in the battle. Couldn't be any better than this. Look at him go. He's just continuing to drive. Brave little soul. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Very good. What else is going on? We established some wirelings already. That's good. Artillery strike is coming down here. Yep, just as I planned it. So, first blood for me, I guess. My guns could already do some nice work. And I feel that I could start... No. Enemy contact, where? Oh, out there in the field. Sure. That's what I have machine guns for. Look at that. You can run, but it won't help you. In fact, I could, I could start to advance my troops, but I don't want to. They are in decent cover and concealment, and the enemy is coming towards them. So this flank will stay static for now. Time to start moving these guys. Okay, where are the scouts? Oh wow, that's a lot of enemies out there. And they are not having a great day. Go get them, guys. Okay, back to these folks here. They will advance carefully towards this point. That's the first order of the day. Okay, you scouts. Let's see, covered move. You guys do the same here, you guys do the same there, and you guys will go all the way up to there. Your command is following you to there. Okay, scouts are moving out. My mortars are firing. Where's the mortar? There it is. Little 5 centimeter mortar, look at it. Look at it go. of course.
they are doing great. They are doing really great. The enemy won't be able to do much while they are being suppressed like this. And we have started a few fires. Oh, 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 wait a second. What's going on here? Okay. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, damn you. They've taken out one of my mortars. They have guns over there. Okay, so those trucks over there are definitely not a repair and resupply unit. It's an anti-tank unit. Okay, can I get fire onto these things? Pretty please. Oh, they're already being shot at. That's good. However, I would prefer if my big guns could shoot at them. Does the battery commander have eyes on this area? Yes or no? Let's check that really quick. Uh, the answer is a resounding no, apparently. But if I get him up here... He will have eyes on it. The issue is that he won't be as able to get the information back to his guns. Oh, my guns did actually turn that way, so that's something. They know that there's an issue. You know what? Never mind. They are receiving a crap ton of mortar fire already. Yeah. These guys are already... Never mind. Good job. They did fire a few rounds into my troops here, and they did take out one mortar, right? You guys, how are you doing? No, the mortar is still intact, in fact. I just took some losses. So, still fine, still going well. Okay, in that instance, let's go back to the guns, cancel the fire mission. Let's not forget that. The enemies out here in the field are... ...really suppressed right now, to the point where I consider assaulting. But before we assault, we should open up the flank further, so Stepanich and his guys... ...they will start to move up through these trees. Cut off any enemies that might try to get in there. Okay, you know what? You are going to advance in a column formation, double line, that's good. You are on an attack move. Yes, you can maneuver. Uh, normal separation, get going. These guys to here, these guys to here, and these guys to here. This gun, is it shooting? I think it is, but they are already receiving counter-battery fire. Oh yeah, their guns are not in a good shape. Yeah, these mortars here are definitely taking their toll on the enemies. Let's see it, they are targeting them. So, for once, I have the mortar advantage. And, oh wow, we are using it. Good luck getting an accurate shot off with that thing, while you have such a barrage coming down onto you. Yeah, they are being ripped apart. No issue. Okay. These troops have started to move.
Once these troops have moved up far enough and open up a nice flank onto the enemy forces, I will start to move these units up as well. Yeah, their guns are still being hammered. Okay. My scouts down here have managed to advance this far without meeting any resistance. Sure done. I will start to move up your guys. Covered. Just start to move into this area. The scouts will move up f even further than this. So you... Covered move to here. You are gonna go there, you are gonna go here, and you... yeah, over there. Keep moving. Keep moving towards the village. Okay, some enemies did make it into the trees here. And my infantry will have to fight them. They should be overwhelmed by the numbers of my infantry though. Their morale must be pretty short. Enemy contact? Yeah, I know. He's in a good position actually. No, never mind. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Well done guys. Go get him. Oh wow, look at this fire. It's getting a little bit out of control, isn't it? Under fire. Yeah, okay. Some enemies ahead. Okay, or at least one machine gun I had. Please get rid of him. Well, yeah, that, that works. Okay, we are doing great. We are doing really great here. I would send in a unit towards this direction, but at the same time, I don't know what else is back here. Hmm, where is my artillery spotter? There he is. Say, can you maybe, just maybe? see this area. Kind of. You can kind of see. At the same time... Um, no. Not required. My mortars are already fighting them. They can't get a shot off without being shelled immediately. And I think that should be... That should be about it. That landed quite close. Uh, one guy is still alive for the moment, apparently. He won't be for long, though. Okay, my unit up here is still advancing. How are they doing? No losses, no losses, no losses, no losses. That's what I like to see. So far, no losses. Okay. At this point, let's start moving the platoon command up and let's also move up the 5 cm mortar mm, they're starting to run into more and more enemies so I think right now I might have to start these guys Jansovic and his guys across the open Yeah, let's do that. You guys, line formation. Yeah, line formation, single line. And... Get going. The enemies are so suppressed and demoralized, I think we should be able to pull this off without too many losses. Mm, 
this mortar has only a limited range of about 500 meters. The 5 centimeter mortar. So I will have to move it up as well at some point. Actually, he can start to move up right now. Same as the platoon commander. Okay. Still no contact. Down there. At this point, I think I will move up some of these machine guns into this tree line. Garbage and his guys. We have one MG34 here. Now, don't move covertly. Normal spread. Move in there. This machine gun as well. Move in here. And the machine gun command. Move over there. While we are doing that, we will start to move some of this infantry from Kedian. In fact, let's move Fadanic first. You guys start advancing through this tree line, column formation, double line. Normal spread, that's fine. We have taken some captives already. Yeah, the enemy is completely demoralized at this point. Can't blame him. Absolutely cannot blame them. They are getting hammered here. Okay, these guys are starting to move. You guys need to start to move. You need to start to move and you need to start to move as well. 5 centimeter mortar has to move up here. And the platoon commands, same thing. Okay. Yeah, that's going well. Okay, we have contact over there. Oh, so just as I suspected, enemies are trying to move up towards Odinsov to reinforce. Interesting. Now, I think they might be trying to get into here and then use this... Hmm, it's not a tree line, it's just uh, a lot of vegetation. They might try to use this to get up into this area and then to proceed into my flank here. I'm not very inclined to let them do that. Let's have a look what's going on. Oh, I did take some losses with this unit. Okay, you guys stop there. Fight the enemies that you can see. Let the others advance for a change. Don't want to take any more losses here. Machine guns are still chattering away. Yeah, okay, now with these troops assaulting across the open. The enemy units caught out here in the field will be dealt with quite swiftly. being chased by a lot of bullets. But yeah, the thing is, um, once you start getting close to these PPSH gunners, you really start to take losses. They are good at close range. They are really, really good. And they can suppress quite effectively. How are you guys doing? Still fine. you doing? Oh, you're actually moving away from me. Okay. Sure. If you think that's safer, go for it. Under fire. Here. Okay. Yeah, we are starting to take light losses. The enemies out here in the field, they are not broken yet. They can still shoot back. 
can we change that? I feel that some heavy artillery fire would go a long way to convince them that um, they should give up. Can I get eyes on? Yes, I can. Very soon, my two guns will open up on this area. It should be convincing enough. Enemy contact? Ah, yeah, down here. Okay. Yeah, they're still putting up a fight. Retreat? Who? You? No. You. Okay, that's one unit that's apparently... Quite hurt. Retreating. Okay, they lost eight men. Okay. I get why you are, why you are retreating. Okay, enemy's resistance is tougher than anticipated. In that case, Stepanich's guys... Hold position, hold position. Let's wait for the guns. To deliver a few salvos to break up the enemy force. Guys, hold position as well. Come on, keep calling in the artillery, please. Can you see the area? 14%, yeah, okay. 15, getting there. Do you have issues because you're sitting behind this bush? Now, really? Okay, you know what? <laughs> Go there. Ha! It was the bush. <laughs> Sometimes you have to... Well, you have to... Take such small details into consideration. Okay, guns will open up. Right about now. There we go. Guns are now receiving their orders. being trained onto the target area. And there we go. Fire away. Let's watch a salvo here. That's awesome. That is just awesome. Okay, let's shift fire. I feel that the area where we hit has been suppressed. Now we will shift the fire. And just draw a line like this. And now the rounds will be starting to land here. That should break the enemies. Yeah, they are starting to run. Good effect on target. Good suppression. Suppression is key in this game. Suppression really is key. You need to suppress the enemy. Oh look, oh that's why these guys are inflicting such casualties. These are enemy uh, scout units. They are quite experienced, usually. That's what's going on. 
Yeah, it's no wonder that we have a hard time with these guys. Well, that's danger close, goddamn. Could you guys please hold position? Don't get killed now. Okay. There's an enemy formation back here. Let's target them. New orders are going out to the guns. Okay, those were still shooting at the old coordinates. Yeah, okay, they are now trained on this area. Not quite. Very good. Yeah, those are enemy scouts. We should kill those guys if possible. There's definitely a lot more of them here than anticipated, so let's drop in some more artillery and let's start to move in machine guns. Alright, alright, so I have a machine gun here. He can see the field, not really. Okay, let's start with these guys. Get into position there. You. Get into position there. You. Go there. And you. Go here. Your commanding officer will take defense here. And now get a move on. This guy is going here. Might be able to call in some more mortar support. These enemies are quite close. To positions where I did zero in. Ah, uh, not quite. These guys back here, yeah, they are looking a lot better. Okay, let's drop some rounds into them like this. Uh, let's drop 10 per gun, high explosive, immediately. Let's go. Guns are doing some work here. Absolutely. I'm now bringing up the machine guns. Oh, did an enemy gun show itself again? Mistake, buddy. How much ammunition do I have? Still quite enough. And this fire area is definitely okay. The enemy is being pushed back further. Yeah, let's actually move the line of fire a little bit like this. And start to move our infantry up again. You guys. Start attacking single line. Okay, like so. Same thing for you. Go and take out those scouts. While they are being suppressed like this. Okay, I need to continue my movement into Odinsov from the flank. So the scouts... The scouts do have their orders again to move up covertly. Go there, go there, you hold, squad lead, go there, uh, Bogdanovich, you guys can start moving covertly to down here. Okay, now my machine guns are again in a position to suppress the enemy. 
That's exactly what I want. By doing that, I can start to take them out. The enemy is offering a ceasefire. Do I want to take that? Did I capture what I intended to capture? Not yet. I don't think so. There are still far too many enemies in this area for me to feel safe that this square will be mine. So we will keep going. While my scouts are advancing down here, I feel that I should bring up some machine guns into covering positions. So let's actually take Vucina's guys here. Let's see, where are your machine guns? Up there. Okay, you guys. You will stay in that position up there, but you will come over here. Set up a machine gun there. Set up another one there. And the commander is going there. More machine guns will be deployed up here. Damn it, I have another group retreating. I have to check that in a moment. Here. Here. And you go here. You go here. Who's retreating? Why are you guys retreating? Why? Okay, because you only have two men left. Damn it, really? Soviets, once they get into close combat, it's really difficult to get rid of them. Let's see, can we use this mortar strike here, maybe? No, not really. Far too costly if it goes wrong. Up here? No, same thing. Okay, we are holding fire on my mortars for the moment. We are just continuing to plaster these enemies with my heavy guns. But these scouts, they are tenacious. They are not giving up easily. We are taking them out one by one though. What's going on over here? Let's check this. There's still an enemy gun that's being manned by one poor guy. Oh boy. You guys are not doing well. Okay, at this point, I think I will start to move in Kirian on this flank down the road. And also this unit will move up further. Let's make sure that the enemy has no easy way back to the village. Franic, okay, you guys. You are gonna go on an attack move to there. Dumancic, there, there. You are holding position, but spread out a little bit. And the mortar is going there. So that's this unit, Kirian. Kirian, Kirian, Kirian. You guys can actually just start to move down the road into the village. Double line, move down the road. Yeah, just get a move on. We'll see, maybe it works. Maybe we can just get into the village like that. Somehow I doubt it, but one can dream, right? How are the scouts doing? Fine, actually. I can continue to push them forwards, I think. The machine guns are getting into position here. Uh, machine guns, yeah, I need to move up their mortars. No, that's the machine guns back there? Who is that? 
What's so which? Where are the machine guns? Moving. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. This unit is moving. We have taken captives. Okay, I feel that we might need to stop the artillery fire. It's getting a little bit close to my own units. Or we need to shift it backwards. Yeah, let's shift it back a little bit. Let's see if we can maintain fire missions on this. Do I want to move up these machine guns anymore? Or are they in a good position now? I think I want to move them up. Okay, your machine gun is going to go up there. And your machine gun... I feel that you can set up in these craters here. So go over there. Start to move. These machine guns need to move up as well. I'm neglecting to move them up together with the troops. There we go. By the way, while we're speaking about machine guns, I do have some here, Vucina and his guns. Uh, your machine guns, I want them up on this hill. Yeah. Come up on this hill. From here, you'll be able to provide good fire support onto the village. You will be a little bit exposed, that is true. But I think it will pay off. These two machine guns, they are not really useful in that position. I will move them up as well. Move one down here. The other one down there. And the machine gun commander over there. My mortar fire mission is landing back here, that's good. Still more enemies in this area. They are hard to get rid of. And I am taking losses. Damn it. Guys, be more careful. You know what? Everybody be more careful. Okay, you are fine, fine. Uh, so, so. But, start to move. Wow, there are still a lot of them. The enemy is offering a ceasefire again. Can I get a fire mission onto this area, please? No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I can't. Can I maybe get a mortar fire mission onto that area? I mean, it is very close to this marker. So, let's do this. Order in high explosive, it should at least suppress the enemy. If we can do that, we can break them. And yeah, these guys are apparently free to walk into the village. Surprising? Sure. That is surprising. But I don't mind. Enemy contact on the back side. That's alright. I think it will be only sporadic enemies. High enemy concentration in this area back here. Yeah, enemy scouts. And regular soldiers mixed together. Look at this commissar here. Look at him. I think he just bought it. No, he didn't.
He just picked up another weapon, wow. Nice. Okay, where's that mortar support, please? 1 minute 45. Enemy... Oh no, my forces are retreating again. Damn it. Why are you guys on the retreat? Took some losses, yes, but come on. Well, you took quite high losses, actually. Okay, you guys... Might have to stop you again. These are just so many enemies out here in the open. I need to get artillery on target. Otherwise, this is not gonna work. Okay, Zhuvic. Can we please get a fire mission into this area? That would be very nice. Let's try to move you up a little bit, maybe to a slightly elevated position. Yeah, come on, run up here, please. Maybe that will help. My mortar strike should be coming there now. Maybe that will be enough to break the enemy finally. If these mortars start to land among them. I could... I could just walk in some units behind them, to be honest. I mean, it looks like that's a possibility. Kirian. Yeah, they advance simply into the village. No issues at all. Well... No, no, no. Some shooting. I heard somebody shoot back here. Yeah, and the units are dispersing. So we do have contact in the village. In the houses, apparently. Yeah. Okay, we will have to fight through the village. Alright. However, on the flank... I feel that Shodan and Bogdanic, they can move in to down here. Kovat move to there. Shodan, um, start moving up here. Then you'll sweep the village. Everybody up here needs to hold their position. Stop trying to advance, please. And just hold. The enemy will be defeated. Here we have some sporadic shooting. There are enemies in some houses apparently. But Shodan will root him out. See, his platoon is now starting, forming up, starting its move. Yeah, this is working great. And the next platoon is just behind. Bogdanic. He too will, once he has formed up, he will start to sweep the village as well. And yeah, these enemies, they can stay here in this area. I will come up behind them. And that will be it. Somebody please kill this guy. What kind of machine gun do you have, by the way? 
What kind of machine gun is that? I'm not sure. Uh, what unit do you belong to? This one. Okay, ammo. MG30. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Machine gun 30. Can't see it very well. Oh, what's that? Enemy machine gun. Dushkim. Oh, this might be responsible for some of my losses. Mortar. Onto this thing. Please. Oh yeah, this thing is now starting to work. You can hear it. Heavy machine gun. And it just killed a man. Get rid of that, please. Okay, Shodan, how's your progress? Okay. So far, okay. Here comes... Bogdanich. His guys will move up very soon. Uh, form up very soon and then they will start to move through. The machine guns are set up in a covering position. However, I don't think they will be required. Nonetheless, it's good to have them here. But yeah, this enemy machine gun, we need to get rid of that. Still contact on this flank, in this trench. Enemies trying to move up. With their PPSHs. Yeah, that's how you deal with them. Okay, come on, show them. And come on, mortars, please. Should start to drop pretty soon. I think they this thing is causing a lot of losses. Any one of my men that shows his nose is getting it blown off by this thing. Still contact here on this side. Yeah, you can hear the thing chattering away. But this guy. Still an issue. Mortar strike, come on. Artillery strike, there we go. That will start to land around this thing pretty soon. And yeah, we are also coming up behind it. Okay, we have some contact with the enemy. I feel at this point we can start to move up Kilian's guys as well, just behind Shodan. Okay. These guys, Stepanich. Yeah, half the men are basically dead. Okay, this platoon took some heavy losses due to the close range fighting with the enemy soldiers here in this area. That was quite brutal. Damn, this machine gun is still active. Where are my mortar shells, please? There we go. That's better. Enemies in this fortified house. Yeah, they're getting taken out. You 
you guys will in fact occupy this house. More captives taken. Awesome. Yeah, now the enemy's rear is being taken here. More heavy machine guns, apparently. No, the accuracy is just too bad. Hmm. No, my units will have to do it the old fashioned way. Push through. Just push through. No artillery support on this one. These heavy machine guns are an issue. More captives taken. Good, good. The enemy is starting to surrender in numbers. Could somebody please finally kill this guy? You guys. Assault towards him. And out here in the field. Wow, okay, we lost two squads. Yeah, that didn't give us plans. But. You have to recommence your attack now. Go get him. The mortar as well. Okay, I think they have taken out the machine gun finally. And we will have some close range fighting with enemies that retreated to this position. However, they are just riflemen. So I believe that when being faced with all this that's coming towards them, they will break fairly quickly. Ah, enemy trucks. Nice. I think we can capture that. Okay. Grenades are being thrown. But the enemies are not doing too great here. They're being decimated. There goes a hand grenade. Yeah. Somebody is retreating. This unit, because they're still under pressure from this one guy. Oh my god. Hero of the Soviet Union right here. Can't believe that. Can somebody stop him, please? More captives taken. Okay. These Soviets are now being completely overrun here. Can I move in one squad into this structure? Get a defensive position in there. But this looks like a complete wipe of the enemy force inside of himself. It absolutely looks that way. I'm just pushing through a big number of units and they are taking out the Soviet soldiers one by one. Uh, he just threw a grenade. But... Yeah, he's done. Fire under fire from whom? I'm not sure. At this point, we might even take the ceasefire. Because the additional losses that I'm taking now, they are not really worth it, I think. On the other hand, we are taking captives, and that's important and beneficial. 
captives that you take in this game will give you information on the enemy force composition. So on the operational map you will start to see what the enemy uh, battle groups are made up of and the enemy platoons. And I think... I think I have just eliminated multiple enemy battle groups. They are not recovering from this. He is being suppressed. Alright, this fight is almost over. More captives taken. These guys with their PPSHs, they are so deadly. What the hell do you have? Okay, that's looking a little bit weird, but I think that's a shield that belongs to one of these heavy Dushka machine guns. So, we should take him out, ideally. They are being suppressed, they are being defeated. This is not gonna take long. Until they all surrender. Uh, there's a... We are quite sizable force down here. I will not fight them, because technically they are not even in the battle area anymore. But they are actually surrendering, okay. In that case, keep going guys. Take out this machine gun dude. That would be nice. Yeah, he's wounded. And he's being killed now. I didn't expect Odinsov to be so undefended from this direction, otherwise I would have moved these forces in sooner. I honestly thought that Odinsov will be full of enemies. But... Not at all. Enemy retreats. Awesome. The enemy retreated from the battlefield. That's good. That's very good. If we look at the battlefield, you will notice that everything is colored blue. The enemy completely retreated from the battlefield. They are giving me full control. Even of this area up here, that should be mine as well now. That's awesome. That's very good. And yeah, I did take some losses, but I think I wiped out multiple enemy battle groups here. So let's actually have a look. Casualties. I took 77 casualties. The enemy took 154. I would have liked to see more enemy casualties, to be honest. 50 enemies killed, 21 heavily wounded. On my end, it's 26 killed and 51 heavily wounded. And they have also 83 missing. A good chunk of those is captured by me. They have lost all their vehicles. I did capture some things. Two guns and machine guns, five trucks and APCs. Okay, nice. And their losses are just staggering. They lost so much stuff. I, on the other hand, I did take some losses. Some platoons are a little bit depleted. In this instance, however, I think it was absolutely worth it. And with that... Let's return to the operation and see what we gained. And there we go. Enemy platoon routed, platoon defeated, platoon routed. Here, one enemy a battle group retreated to this area down here where they are now encircled. So dealing with them shouldn't be an issue at all. We have one enemy anti-tank battle group here. 
I'm not sure. I think we just... Yeah, they are still fresh. We just uncovered their presence because we moved closer. My guess is this battle group that was up here retreated this way. This is good. This is really good. Okay. Now we need to solidify our position. And hold out for one turn until reinforcements arrive and we can continue our push east. Let's actually end the turn. And there we go. It's nine o'clock now. You can see the enemy is apparently moving in troops as well. Ammunition is being distributed. Troops are recovering. Rearming. Okay. A fresh enemy battle group has arrived in the battle area down here. However, I think... Yeah, they will have to move around here. I don't think they will be able to move up here and into my rear. At least I don't think so. I could be wrong. But yeah. Okay. That was our turn. For the next part, I will have to have a good look at my forces. See where I might be able to reorganize some platoons. Bring in reserves. And see where we'll set up defenses to hold what we captured. So, thank you very much for watching today. I hope this rather long episode has been entertaining. But at least I didn't have to split the battle into two parts this time. Until next week. Have some great days and goodbye.